Five. Why do some enzymes need cofactor? Hello, students. Welcome to today's lesson. In your previous lesson, you learned about the function of enzymes or the mechanisms of enzyme action. Today, we are going to learn why do some enzymes need cofactor. Let us start. First of all, let's look the chemical feature of enzymes. With the exception of a small group of catalytically active RNA molecules, all enzymes are proteins. Their catalytic activity depends on the integrity of their native protein conformation. Some enzymes require no chemical groups for activity other than their amino acid residue. Others require an additional chemical component known as a cofactor. Cofactor can be inorganic ions or complex organic or metalloorganic molecule called coenzymes. Now let's look how we easily understand the structure of an enzyme. The enzyme molecule may be complex or simple. When it is simple, it is made of only proteins. When it is complex, we call it holoenzymes. Holoenzyme is a protein part and a non-protein part, that is the cofactor altogether, are said to be holoenzymes. Protein ka iyo cofactor ka marka yu skul jiran, waha le rada holoenzymes. Marku yai protein kale ata u kasamisan yai enzyme kunu waha le rada simple enzyme. Again, the holoenzyme is composed into two basic components, the apoenzyme and the cofactor. The apoenzyme is the protein part. Kaipta proteinka, wahalayrada, apoenzyme. Kaipta protein hain, wahalayrada, cofactor. The cofactor may be prosthetic groups. These are usually small inorganic molecules or items. Wa inorganic molecule, inorganica, ama wa ayorno. Usually tightly bound to a enzyme. The prosthetic group is tightly bound to the apo enzyme. The coenzyme is a large organic molecule as compared to the prosthetic group. The prosthetic group is small inorganic, but the coenzyme is a large organic molecule which is loosely bound to the apoenzyme. So if you so for so. Prosthetic groups, they are tightly bound. But the coenzymes are loosely 
si kafif okay ekud deg sayin a poison ka the coenzyme is a large molecule the prostatic is a small inorganic the coenzyme is large organic molecules mitki coenzyme ko loosely bound to the apoenzyme but the prostatic group or the small inorganic molecules or an atom is usually tightly bound to the apoenzyme sometimes an active enzyme yes as we already said is not just a single molecule but is made from two molecules neither of which has enzymatic activity without the other lova she or skut tagi en qone yan lova da mit kia dil wayo mashqena yan marka makkal marma yan lova da che the two parts are the apo enzyme and the co factor apo enzyme and the co factor together they make the halo enzyme or the whole enzyme now let's look the apo enzyme the apo enzyme a protein that combines with a cofactor a protein combines with a cofactor to form an active enzyme the protein is inactive on its own protein ko kliisa active ma aha ma furfrona ma na shaqa gali karo lakin marku kujro co factor ki yo saga wa da jir ay no konkaran active otherwise one of them separately they are not active okay they are inactive in action the protein part of enzyme the inactive protein component of the enzyme that has no physiological effect without the attachment of that particular or specific molecule okay that particular specific molecule when attached to the protein part of the enzyme they make an active enzyme an active enzyme a cofactor is an end protein chemical compound as opposed to that of the apo enzyme that is required the protein's biological activity the protein's biological activity will be initiated when there is a cofactor the non protein chemical compound many enzymes require cofactors to function properly the cofactor can be considered helper molecule molecule or awia protein ka sidu o enzyme rasmi o nogdo o mit shaqen khara ama mit shaqak gali khara that assist enzymes in their action the cofactors can be ions ion nadi or organic molecules known as co enzymes remember the cofactors can be ions or organic molecules known as coenzymes coenzymes the organic cofactor are often vitamins or are made from vitamins organic cofactor ka padan ka wa vitamin no ama wa hai ka yimadan vitamin ka okay ka yimadan ana wa hai ka sami sayhin vitamin ka small quantities of these vitamins must be consumed in order for our enzymes to function correctly remember vitamins are very essential components of our nutrition but they are consumed in a very small amount their absence is something which is very dangerous to the health of the individual vitamin d wa untoyinki ugu mimsan o chirka nolo o bahin wayan 
hadi kamkayhin wa chirku sihabon mashqan qaro sababta vitaminadu qarkod wahay sameeyaan enzymadi enzymaduna wahay yihiin kemikalo oo awiya falgal kemikaleed jirkeeni ka dhaaw dhan oo fudeeyaa wayaan enzymku enzym laan marka ma jirri karo wax oo falgal kemikaleed oo jirka ka dhaaw okay falgal kemikalka jirkeena ka dhaaw mid oo dhisaya oo molekulada waaweyn ama jirka dhisa mid na waxa wayaan oo burburinaya molekulada waaweyn si loo baxardo oo oo yaba yar yar oo jirka gala oo si loo heli laha marka vitaminadu wa ugu muhiimsan yihiin sababtoo ah waxay sameeyaan okay organic cofactor radi qarqood the cofactor combines with the apo enzyme to produce an active enzyme where an active enzyme molecule comprises an apo enzyme and a cofactor the whole is sometimes referred to as the whole holo enzymes the holo enzymes the apo enzyme plus the cofactor make the holo enzyme the cofactor as we already said may be a coenzyme coenzyme means an organic molecule or it may be a mineral ion the coenzymes are organic molecules and are derived from vitamins just as we already said they bind with the enzyme to give catalytic activity now let's look some of the inorganic ions that serve as a cofactor for enzymes for example copper ion the copper ion involves in the enzyme which is known as cytochrome oxidase the ferric and the ferrous ion are one of the cofactors which are found in the cytochrome oxidase catalase and peroxidase a potassium ion is one of the component of the enzyme known as pyruvate kinase magnesium ion is also the ion which is found or the cofactor which is found in hexokinase glucose 6 phosphatase and pyruvate kinase manganese ion is also found in an enzyme known as arginase ribonucleotide reductase and molybdenum is also found in dinitrogenase and nickel ion is also found in urease zinc ion is also one of the component of the carbonic anhydrase alcohol dehydrogenase and carboxypeptidase a and b all these enzymes which are involved in many of our chemical uh, reactions in the body contain cofactors without these cofactors the enzymes may not be active may not be active the mechanism of the action is many cofactors will sit in the enzyme active site and assist the binding of the substrate okay we said that the cofactors are helper molecules helper molecule molecule awiya qaybta enzyme ka garhan qaybta protein ka ya awiyan sidu u noqdo mid active mid furfuron oo gali kara shaqa an inactive enzyme without a cofactor look an inactive enzyme without a cofactor is so is called an aponzyme while the complete enzyme with a cofactor is called a holo enzyme the aponzyme is a protein portion which is inactive alone 
the coenzyme is the non-protein portion, which is inactive alone, but it is considered to be activator. Activator. And the hollow enzyme, the hollow enzyme contains the apo enzyme and the cofactor. Okay? The cofactor may be coenzyme, organic molecule, or inorganic ion. Inorganic ion. The apo enzyme and the hollow enzyme, again, the enzyme without its non protein moiety is termed as apo enzyme and it is inactive. Hollow enzyme is an active enzyme with its non protein component, again. That is what's called the activator and uh, the protein portion and the whole enzyme molecule. As we already said, a cofactor is a non protein chemical compound that is bound either tightly or loosely to an enzyme and is required for catalysis. When we say that it is tightly bound, yes, it is the prosthetic group, which is an ion, inorganic ion, tightly bound. But when it is loosely bound to the enzyme, it is organic compound, okay? Most of the time it is the derivatives of the vitamins, Yes, and they are also known as coenzymes, okay, coenzymes. The apoenzyme with the cofactor, okay, with the cofactor which bound together make an active enzyme. The types of the cofactor, as we already said, it is a coenzyme or it may be a protestic group, protestic group type of the cofactors are the coenzymes, which is organic molecule, and the prostatic group. Prostatic group is an ion, inorganic ion, okay? Inorganic ion. The coenzymes, the non-protein component, loosely bound. Don't forget. See, kafif, you could say non-protein, brotinka, okay? Brotinka. Loosely bound to the apoenzyme by non-covalent bond. Therefore, the examples are the vitamins or compound derived from vitamins like that of NAD and FAD. Just we'll uh, discuss all these uh, co-enzymes uh, in the coming unit, unit five, when we are going to talk about uh, respiration. We will learn more about this uh, carrier proteins, okay, carrier uh, vitamins. The prostatic group is a non protein component tightly bound. Tightly bound means strongly attached to the apoenzyme. See, other group the same to the apoenzyme, to the protein part by a covalent bond, and it's called prostatic group. Prostatic group. And the cofactor, the cofactors, as we already said that, they are inorganic ions, okay, inorganic ions, or organic molecules. When it comes to inorganic ions, we say that zinc, iron, copper, what you call magnesium ion, all these are said to be a cofactors, which are prosthetic group protestic group. And the complex organic molecule called a coenzyme. A coenzyme. The coenzyme, there is a cofactor. Look, a cofactor when it is inorganic ion. We say protestic group. A cofactor, which is organic molecule, is said to be a coenzyme, which is attached loosely to the uh, apoenzyme, therefore, they make all together hollow 
enzymes. A metal or a coenzyme that is covalently attached to the enzyme is called a prostatic group. Say, for example, the hem in hemoglobin. The hem is the hemoglobin molecule, which is the protein molecule or the enzyme, the protein molecule, which contains iron, okay? The iron part is said to be the hem part, the hem part, which is the ferric ion, Fe2 plus. That makes the blood red. Some coenzymes, such as NAD, nicotine, adenine, dinucleotide, are bound and released by the enzyme during its catalytic cycle and, in effect, function as a core substrate. A core substrate, the NAD, acts as a core substrate. See the substrate. Many coenzymes are derived from vitamin precursors. Their origin is the vitamin. Asalahan, we have to say, vitamin no, we have to coenzyme madu. Now let us look some of the common coenzymes and their function in this simple uh, diagram. NAT or nicotine amide adenine dinucleotide is made from vitamin known as niacin. And the enzyme which contains this coenzyme is oxidoreductase, which is participated in respiration. Look, not one coenzyme, one customization, vitamin layrado, niacin, huna kakaev gala, okay, in the oxidation reduction reaction in respiration. The function of this enzyme is simply the oxidation or hydrogen transfer in respiration, transfer of hydrogen. That means transfer of electron, okay? Flavin adenine dinucleotide or fat is derived from the enzyme known as riboflavin. And the enzyme in which this fat is found is also in oxidoreductase in respiration. That means oxidation or hydrogen transfer in respiration in both cases. Some of the coenzymes that require a mineral, a mineral ion are cofactors, okay? Who now ion ama mineral no. Say for example, the enzyme carbonic anhydrase requires zinc ion, Zn2+. And the function of this carbonic anhydrase is causes carbon dioxide to react with water to form hydrogen carbonate. Hydrogen carbonate. The second form, or the second enzyme, which contains a mineral ion or zinc ion is alcohol dehydrogenase. Alcohol dehydrogenase function to oxidize an alcohol. The third enzyme, which requires a copper ion, either cupric or cuprous ion, is known as cytochrome oxidase. This enzyme, cytochrome oxidase, that contains a cofactor, cupric ion or cupress ion, transfers electrons to oxygen during respiration. Therefore, the two important nutrients, the vitamins, and the minerals play a very major role in making our enzymes active. And their absence is the most complicated problem to the proper function of the body. 
فرسدا ما ادندن ايو فيتامينادا انتدا ادي كم قيهين ويا وها بدن او تشيركيني بحان با قمقن سيدا درتيد حولي سا سي حبون وما سودان اما حولي او تشيركا كدا سي حبون ما سون كران يا غلا انت لا انت هذا now it is time to do some activity students you have 3 minutes to answer these questions now let's look at the questions what you are going to do is fill the correct term in the blank space for these four points okay the first one blank is a protein portion of an enzyme can be the whole enzyme, okay? Can be the whole enzyme. Second, blank, the non-protein component help catalyze by forming a bridge between enzyme and substrate. The third, dash, is organic cofactor like NAD or NADP or FAD or coenzyme A may assist the enzymatic reaction by accepting atoms removed from substrate or by donating atoms required by substrate, electron carrier. The last one is a poenzyme plus coenzyme or a cofactor make blank. Do it by yourself.
strength this time now let's do together the answer the first question said blank the apple enzyme is a protein portion of an enzyme that can be the whole enzyme because we said that enzymes may be complex or simple just the protein part sometimes functions properly as a full enzyme without a cofactor in some cases the enzyme contains a protein part and a non-protein part which are working together but not active separately the second answer to that question is a cofactor this is a non-protein component which helps us catalyze by forming a bridge between the enzyme and the substrate that is what's called the cofactor the coenzyme is an organic cofactor which is not NADP it contains one phosphate and fat flavin adenine tinucleotide and coenzyme A may assist the enzymatic reaction by accepting atoms removed from the substrate or by donating atoms required by the substrate electron carrier and finally if you say hollow enzymes you are correct a coenzyme with a cofactor or a coenzyme will make a hollow enzymes strength today's lesson ends with these four summarized questions until we meet in our next lesson goodbye everyone